This video will show you how to create a homework, upload any of your class grades from your lecture class, and how to change the time zone. When you log into your course, you should see all your courses listed. And so let me pick a course here. Okay. So to check the time zone, you want to go into your class. All courses are set Eastern Time. You're going to click on Manage Course. Edit MML setting. If we scroll down, in this case my time zone is central. You click on edit. You can choose your time zone. I want it to be mountain. And click on save. So that is how you would change your time zone. To create an assignment, you're going to scroll down to uh, the tab that says Course Tools, usually at the bottom of the page. Click on Assignment Manager. Create assignment, and you can create a homework, a quiz, or a test, or you can add an offline item. I'm going to create a homework. Let's give our homework a name. Choose your chapter. and your section. The questions here on the left, the first number is a chapter, the second number is a section, and the third number is the actual exercise of that um, section. To view the question, you just click on it. If you like it, you will click on Add. Then you can press on Next to go to the next question. If you like, you can add a media question before the assignment. So for example, I'm going to add a video. This is the video icon, PowerPoint, animation, and the textbook. So let's add this video. So now I have a video in here. I'm going to move it to be the first thing that the students do. Okay. I'm going to press next. Once you finish adding your questions, click on your date on your available for the students. If you have a due date, And if you allow late submissions, and if you're going to give a penalty. You can add a prerequisite, so if you already have assignments, you can choose any assignment. I want them to do this assignment first, and then you press save. That's going to say the student must finish this section within 80% before moving on to the assignment. Indicate uh, lock answers that just tell the students if they're right or wrong. And I want to click on media access, that way they watch the video first. And I'm going to save. If you click save, the students will not be able to see it. Save and assign. Click OK. And you should be able to see your assignment down here. So let me just show you what it looks like on the student side.
if the student clicks on the assignment, notice that they cannot click on the question until they actually click on the video. Once they click on the video, they can watch the video or they can continue on with the questions. So now they can work on question one and question two. Okay, so that's what, uh, that's how you would create an assignment. And you'll create a test in the same way. Let me just go back to the assignment we just created. If you want to delete it, you click on the arrow here. You can click on delete. You can copy another version of this. And I'm going to press edit here. I'm going to go to the settings. So in this uh, settings, I forgot to mention about the learning aids. Um, you can make these available to your students. They can uh, see the textbook, StatCrunch, as my instructor, and any of the aids that they have available. When they're taking an, an exam, you might want to get rid of those aids. And so that is how you create an assignment. If you have assignments um, that you gave in class, such as exam one or exam two or any paper homework, and you want to add those to the gradebook here on the system, you can create a uh, create assignment, add offline item, choose a category. So let's say you, you want to put in exam one grades, how many points the exam one was, Click on next and all your students will be listed here and you'll be able to enter a grade for each student or you can upload them from a CVS uh, spreadsheet. Once you add the names you press save and OK and so now the student can see their exam one agreed. So that is how you create an assignment, whether it's a homework test, and that's how you add an offline item. In the next video, I will talk about the gradebook. Stay tuned.